Hershey Park just made their biggest announcement ever with the addition of Chocolate Town. And man, if you thought Hershey's entrance was nice before, this is just blowing it out of the water. They are doing a complete overhaul. They are relocating the front gate, creating this incredible plaza, modernizing everything, and I am absolutely blown away because your experience is just going to be that much better after Chocolate Town opens in 2020. I'm going to break down everything you need to know about this announcement, and honestly, really all we got is this video. There isn't a ton of information. They're essentially going to announce more stuff about it in stages, so we'll learn a little bit more in January, and then in spring, and then in summer, and so on and so forth forth. So really, I'm just going to be breaking down everything that we can see in this announcement and giving maybe a little bit of speculation on some stuff, but let's really just get into this. Going back a bit, this announcement didn't really come as a surprise to a lot of people because we knew that Hershey Park was buying up a lot of land. Essentially, there was this golf course on the other side of the road, and so they purchased all that property. It's to the right of the park on the other side of Sky Rush, and so they're using some of that space to kind of reconfigure how they have the park laid out. As much as I love Hershey Park, it's no secret that the location of their entrance is kind of weird. You go past Chocolate World, enter this kind of bottleneck street, it's real tight, real cramped, it looks good, but it's just not the best, maybe. If you notice in the animation, this is a lot more open. Essentially what they're doing is they're kind of pulling everything forward. You had to walk down a considerably long path to get to the entrance of Hershey Park, so they're essentially moving everything up. They're redoing the tram drop-off, guest services, ticket booths, and they're adding some restaurants and ice cream shops to the front plaza. So it'll almost make it even more so like Chocolate World because notice people will go to Chocolate World and not go in Hershey Park. If you've been a Universal City Walk or what Disney does with Downtown Disney, it's kind of creating that after park experience. It's going to be a great place for people to go shop and eat when they're not off riding roller coasters. So we're going to be seeing a lot of that. Notice they haven't really given us actually any names of some of these places. They say ice cream parlor or restaurant. They aren't actually going to name the restaurant restaurant. Again, that stuff is going to come more so in the future. So you're going to enter your new modern front gate. Notice how they redid that big entrance sign. It's a lot more colorful now. The turnstiles are a lot more open. And you're going to be greeted by the Kisses Fountain. And this is so cool what they did here. Essentially, they have the water fountain in the shape of a Hershey's Kiss. So it's going to be super pretty. It's going to be a great centerpiece. Hershey Park did have a fountain towards the entrance. And that's where actually they had this big statue of Milton Hershey. And I've seen some comments, people a little bit concerned that they might be removing that. And I think there is a possibility that they could keep it, or if they're taking out, that they could do something kind of similar. There were a few people that said, oh, Hershey Park is kind of straying away from the classics and their history with what Milton did. And I do think that this new modern entrance is a big improvement, but I do think that they are also paying homage to their past. So I wouldn't be surprised if they relocate that statue of Milton somewhere. So I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Another thing to note, they are relocating their carousel. The carousel, once you enter at Hershey Park, you kind of walk up this path and the carousel is essentially the first ride that you see. So they're still kind of making it that way, except this time it's going to be a bit more to the left. But another thing to note with the old one is that you would enter and you would kind of have to go to the left for everything in the park, except if you walked a bit further past, you'd enter the hollow where you have Sky Rush, and that was a bit more to the right. Now, the biggest roller coaster when you enter Hershey Park is not going to be Sky Rush. It is going to be this massive B&M hyper coaster. Like the restaurants, we don't have a name for it yet, but notice the color scheme. We have brown track and blue and orange trains. What is blue and orange? Typically, the Hershey's Kisses, the Reese's. And so I would expect a chocolate theme for this ride. Notice with Hershey Park, not all of their coasters have a Hershey theme. We have Coco Cruiser, but like Fahrenheit, Storm Runner, like not even closely related to chocolate. But judging based off of the trains and the color scheme, I am going to make a prediction that we will be seeing some sort of chocolate theme with this ride. We don't really have a whole lot of stats with this. We know it's over 200 feet. We know 
know it is the tallest ride in the park, the fastest ride in the park, the longest ride in the park. So it essentially outdoes all of the stats from Skyrush. However, this is going to be a vastly different ride experience than Skyrush. Skyrush is all about the ejector airtime. It is very intense, and a lot of the public do not like Skyrush because of that reason. This is going to be a big crowd pleaser. I would expect this to be the most popular ride in the park when it opens because it's all about the floater airtime. The trains are going to be very comfortable, unlike Skyrush's. And the way it wraps around the fountain, not only is it going to be eye candy, but it's going to be themed to candy, and it is going to be sweet. The animations you just saw is essentially all we have from the ride experience. A friend of mine did make a no limits rendering of what he thinks that the ride experience will be like. So note that the park did not make this. This is just an estimate. I imagine that there'll be a few changes, but just based off of the animation that we saw, this is probably what you can expect from the ride experience. The last B&M Hyper built in America was Mako, and I think that is the best B&M Hyper in the country. So assuming they're only getting better, I think this will be right up there with it. And if you thought Hershey Park's lineup wasn't already incredible it just got a whole lot better their top five was already fantastic they have three great intimans an invert a dueling GCI now they're getting a massive B&M hyper their coaster collection is just phenomenal there's no other way to describe it so the last thing I really want to talk about is that if you look in the animation you can see actually that they have quite a lot of space left over I mentioned how they're using some of that land that they just acquired but they are not using all all of it. This coaster will use up some of the new land. It will actually go over the water, but look to the right. Just look at how much land is left over. That tells us that they're saving it for future expansion. This is their largest announcement ever, but really the only ride as of now that we know about that is coming with it is this roller coaster. So that tells us that the next few years you can probably expect Hershey Park's main focus area for adding new attractions will be closer to this front gate next to this ride. Hershey Park is already a very well-developed park. They've used up a lot of their land. So now that they have all this extra space, it kind of gives them more freedom to do whatever they want. So I think Chocolate Town coming to Hershey Park is going to be fantastic. I love it so much. Hershey Park is one of my all-time favorite parks in the world, and this is only going to make it that much better. 2019 might be a bit of a rough year just because I think that they'll probably have to close down the current entrance before the season is over. I think this would be a lot to do in the off season. So I think if you go to the park in 2019, they might have to reconfigure some of the entrance while demolition goes on. Think about what Carowinds did when they were building Fury for that new front gate. They had to get people to enter over by Intimidator. So I wouldn't be surprised if Hershey has to do something along those lines in order to accommodate Chocolate Town. So 2019 may be a little rough. I think that's why they kind of went with a smaller edition and kind of redoing the Reese's Cup Challenge. But man, when this opens in 2020, this is going to be fantastic. I cannot wait. This park's future is so bright. I love everything they're doing. So I hope that you enjoyed this analysis for everything coming to Hershey Park in 2020. Again, we will learn new information about it down the line in the future. But be sure to stay tuned for social media as Hershey Park announces more stuff. We'll be sure to share it. It'll kind of help us understand a bit more of what to expect with this area. But be sure to post your thoughts down in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys later.